A warm welcome to AD4 TV Radio News Extracts coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I am Antonietta Kalinta. Pain management and algesics, pain control or algeotry is a branch of medicine that uses an interdisciplinary approach for easing the suffering of affected persons and improving the quality of life of those living with chronic pain. When individuals are in pain, they usually take painkillers to relieve such pain. But somewhere down the line, they become dependent on these drugs. Our correspondent has more on this. Individuals undergo one form of stress or another from time to time. How they deal with such stress could mean the difference between a healthy and an unhealthy lifestyle. One remedy that many people employ to alleviate stress is the use of painkillers through self-medication. Painkillers do more than just the easing stress. They are medicines that reduce or relieve headaches, sore muscles, arthritis, or other aches and pains. There are many different painkillers, some more advanced than the others. But one question that seems to elude those who depend on painkillers is the fact that there are always two sides to a coin. So, could there be another side to the dependency on painkillers? Are there any implications? From the little biology I did in secondary school, I understand that when you take drugs, the liver is responsible for detoxifying uh, what comes into the body. And when you load the liver with too much drugs, you know, it has uh, a side effect on the liver. And then particularly, uh, the regular painkillers we take like Panadol, I know that they are quite harmful to the liver if they are taken without recommendation. Frequent use of drug generally has side effects because according to studies, um, drugs generally have side effects. And that's why certain drugs like ketoconazole, they will warn you at the hospital that only take it if you know that you need it and it is extremely important. So I don't think anybody should rely on, on painkillers. Um, like Panadol or even Relief. So it is wrong for me. There are a lot of side effects. Some persons seem to understand their systems and therefore refrain from using painkillers to ease stress. They would rather take a rest, sleep or engage in physical exercise and this presumably works well for them. Myself as an example, I don't use painkillers simply because I have actually taken time to as in to get to know myself and um, whenever I have pains I prefer to rest, sleep or have a little exercise and when I do that, when I sleep, when I'm well rested, the pains tend to disappear. Painkillers can help relieve pain and make people feel happier and more relaxed. However, they can also have harmful effects or implications. In this direction, a reasonable period of rest in between stress points and regularly consulting a doctor or a physician to ascertain one's health status could serve as alternative measures to the dependency on painkillers. Jessica Ochai, 84 TV Radio, Abuja. Remember, coronavirus is real. Ensure you wash your hands regularly. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Wear your mask besides maintaining social distancing. That's it for 84 TV Radio News Extract coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. You can join the conversation on our website at www.84tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at 84 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84 TV Radio as well. Many thanks for watching. I am Antonietta Kalanta.